no matter how many times the University of Michigan dance team gets kicked down, we stand up, we fight stronger, we fight harder, and you guys will really see through our Nationals routines that we're fighting for it. Then we came back to school in August, um, had two weeks of testing and quarantine, and then we were finally able to practice together, but we were outside, we were on the tracks, doing our sidelines, reviewing it all. So we were cleaning sidelines without knowing what was going to happen with the season. And um, we didn't know if we would be dancing at football games, if we would be on sidelines doing halftime, if we would be doing pregame, anything. Um, and then we were brought inside, gratefully. And shortly after that, we were shut down for COVID the first time. Um, and then we were brought back with some testing protocols shut down again for the rest of the semester. And then we were on Zoom pretty much all the way until January. We taught each other combos. Sometimes we were in our kitchens. We were together, we were separate in our own room in small spaces, but we made it work. And it was actually really fun to just be able to dance and not have to worry about nationals at that time or games or anything like that. It was just fun for us. Uh, we came back after winter break and we were tested three times a week, every week. Um, before practice, you're up and it's pitch black outside. Ann Arbor is not awake yet. And then the variant came and athletics shut us down again. But then after that, we were back. We had about two months to prepare for nationals. So there's two different college nationals this year for UDA. There's in-person nationals where the teams are actually going down to compete in Orlando. And then there's teams that are competing virtually. Those teams will not be competing against each other. Um, so the virtual teams will only compete against the virtual teams. And then the in-person teams will only compete against those teams. We are actually competing in the virtual category. Um, so it has its pros and cons. You know, we're able to dance together in our own space in this very gym. Um, and we can all have a sense of normalcy um, and feel comfortable. But that doesn't mean we're not having the full Nationals experience. We're still having our parents come and watch our finals. Um, and for semifinals, we have backdrop and lighting and plants trying to emulate that Disney experience. Disney's wide world of sports! So excited! <laughs> how it goes this weekend as we prepare for semifinals. Throughout the season, we had to make sure that we were complying with all of the CDC guidelines. So this meant wearing masks at all times. The day before we filmed for semifinals, we all tested negative and we were granted permission to take our masks off for a full out run of the dances. Everyone's faces just lit up. And honestly, I got tears in my eyes because I could finally see all my best friends' faces and finally being able to see everyone's true expression when dancing. I honestly think us getting shut down all of those times in the fall and early winter really motivated us to you know stay focused and fight for nationals we didn't have any games we our basketball team got to the elite eight and we didn't get to step foot in chrysler and help cheer them on um so all we're fighting for is nationals that is our peak that is our pinnacle that is where we get to perform and show our sport and so we're putting all of our effort full-blown like blood, sweat, and tears into these Nationals routines because it's all we have left. Ready? Okay. okay. No.
Oh my god! But we gotta keep it, right? We can do it better. We can yeah, do it even we better. Insane, and it's gonna be even better tomorrow. This is insane. I want it now, and I ain't never gonna back down. I want it now, and I ain't never gonna back down. I gotta go for the goal. I need to switch up the mode. I'm gonna win on my own. I'm in a whole nother zone. I reach the pinnacle. I don't have time, this is critical. It's time to finish you. I don't care who I just did it to. Now I'm fired up. I'm sorry, brother, your time's up. I see the top and I climb up. I came from the asses, I rise up. Rise up. Welcome to the 2021 UCA UDA College Cheerleading and Dance Team National Championship. And now, on to our Division 1A awards. Moving into our top three. Third place, University of Oklahoma. Second place, Florida State University. And our national champion, the University of Michigan. This was a very competitive division. In Dancing in Front of the Castle, they earned a 92.4875. Congratulations to the University of Michigan on your first national title in D1A Jazz. Division 1A Hip Hop. Second place, the University of Miami. And our national champion, the University of Michigan. This makes two titles from the University of Michigan dancers with a 91.15. Congratulations, dancers. You are our national champions in D1A hip hop. this year is unlike anything I have ever experienced. All 26 of my fellow teammates are my best friends and we laugh together, we cry together, and we're gonna prove that, you know, we're meant to be here, we're meant to keep practicing, and we're, we're meant to be champions. What a great and wonderful way for those seniors to go out. With a tremendous effort, you deserve this great win today, and you got it, and you earned it, and I'm so proud of you, I take my hat off to you. Can't say it no better than that. Those who stay will be champions, and we champions, we champions.